Joe, what a return to football that is. <laughs> yeah, um, there's nothing better is there, than, than um, a 90th minute winner or a stoppage time winner. But I, f I felt on the balance of play, I felt we deserved it. You know, credit to them that they're, they're not a bad side at all. I think they're going to be um, a lot better when they get one or two bodies back. Um, but again, you know, it's a tricky place to come and visit. It was um, was not long ago that they hadn't won here for 50 odd years. So like London buses, um, you know, we managed to get two on the spin. And I think I think on, as I say, on the on the way to chances created to, to come away from home and create those chances um, and get ourselves in the lead. We kept pushing on, tried to get the second, but for some really good defending, a couple, a couple of goal line clearances from from their uh, defenders or, or keeper, um, and then you know they they get a, a goal from almost you know against the run of play, and then you know as as it does here at the valley, you know the crowd get behind them. It's a, it's a fantastic place to play, play football. The pitch is fantastic, and you know the Charlton fans are a, a, a great set of fans, and I've obviously got behind the team then, and you know they had a bit of a momentum wave coming at us and. You know, we had to ride our luck a little bit. You know, Alfie May, who's, who's arguably, you know, we, we want to bring him to our football club, um, arguably best, one of the best finishers in the division, um, hits the post. And in recent weeks, you know, the Barnsley goal licks the post and goes in. The Portsmouth goal licks the post and goes in. Um, and we got a little bit of luck today because, you know, we're, they've been hitting the post and going in and hits the post and stays out. Um, but we kept pushing. You know, we made even more attacking subs with, with Lofty and, and Macca coming on. And, you know, one of those got us a goal, and you always know with Luke. You know, if he's on the pitch, he's, he's got a chance of scoring a goal for you. So, absolutely buzzing for him. Just how happy are you for Luke? Obviously, struggled a little bit last season, but that must feel incredible. Yeah, look, we all knew what a good player he was, and, and sometimes when you go to a club, things don't kind of drop in for you. I said to him before he goes on, look, this is you're one moment away from from this absolutely flipping on its head. <laughs> um, lo and behold, you know. He does what I think he's really good at. Gambles getting in the box, great timing of runs. And also what people don't understand with Macher is he's a really good finisher. You know, so that wasn't an easy chance. He's managed to, to hit the target, ask the goalie a question, and it ends up in the back of the net. And I just said to him in the dressing room, I'm, I'm so proud of him, mainly because I know how hard he worked in the off-season. You know, he didn't sulk and feel sorry for himself. He worked incredibly hard. He then picked up a little niggle in, in, in a, in a pre-season game at Cardiff, and he's grafted incredibly hard to get back with the group again. And, and honestly, I, it's, it's my favourite goal as a manager, that, because I know how hard Luke's work. And we all know what a good player he is. You know, our fan base didn't get the, the opportunity during COVID to, to watch him live. But I think anyone who tuned in and watched those games knows just what a good player Luke McCormack is. And I think that'll go some way to kick-starting uh, the second phase of his career. And as I say, what a great stadium to do it in. And also, um, you know, to score a winning goal. But also his teamship, you know, he didn't run off and give it the big and on his own. He's come and, and, and you know, paid, um, you know, the, the group. And, and for me, that, that's as important as that goal. It shows how together we are and, and, you know, we're working hard to push this football club as far as we can up the football pyramid. Tristan Cram has been fantastic. How impressed are you with him? I, I think, as a, you know, again, that's a young back line, you know, 21, 21, 21. And the senior citizen, uh, Lewis Gordon, at 22 at left back. Plus, you know, a 20-year-old goalkeeper behind that, um, and, and I think you know, Tristan has, has been, um, you know, he's only had a short period. That's his second um, league game, but I think he's shown, you know, just why Brentford hold him so highly. So we're, we're delighted to have him. Obviously, we're delighted to to be trusted with with Matthew Cox's and, and obviously Tristan Kramer's uh, development. Um, but also, you know, I think that was a real team performance, not just the, um, not just the. The, the guys who started the game, but the guys who came on and picked picked the energy up. And we spoke in the dressing room before the game saying, look, if we're going to be successful, it's going to be a group effort. It's not just going to be the 11 lads who start 46 games and get us where we need to get to. And, and again, you know, the teamship and the culture that we're building here. And look, we've got, we've got a lot of work to do. We, we can definitely be better again than what we were tonight. But we found a way to win tonight. And, and I think that's always a really good sign for a, for a young, emerging football, football team. John Marcus, captain today, how did he lead the line? Yeah, John, uh, as he always is, he's absolutely tireless in his performance. You know, he runs his socks off for the team. Obviously, with Sam Finley uh, being out, you know, John and, and Grant Ward and Scotty Sinclair have kind of picked up that, you know, vice-captain kind of position along with uh, James Wilson. And, and the good thing is, I don't, you know, when Sam um, had a bit of a knock after the game from Saturday, wasn't going to be starting tonight. I didn't look around and think, OK, who are we going to make captain? You've got Aaron, who's been captain before, Anthony Evans, who's been captain, Grant Ward's a candidate, Scotty Sinclair. 
Um, obviously, along the back line, you've got a lot of young lads there, but I think you know there's leadership potential in, in a lot of those. You know, certainly, and, and that's what we want. We want you know 11 captains or 15 captains or 20, 25. And I know it's a bit cliched, but we believe that leadership has to be for everybody. It's not just for the man who has a piece of material around his arm, um, who meets the ref before and does the coin toss. In really good groups, really good teams. Um, there's a huge amount of leadership and, and you know, we've got to develop and encourage that over, over the course of this season.